Hi, I'm Maimon. Welcome back to the unboxing of my new computer. Before I start, keep in mind this is only going to be an unboxing video. It's not going to be a testing video. And because, and the reason that we're doing this is because I actually want to test the computer first before I do a testing video on it. And what I'm going to do is while I'm unboxing it, I'm going to talk about why we got this and the process of actually getting it. Keep in mind, it's actually currently midnight, so I might mess up a few of my lines. So first I'm going to talk about actually getting the computer. <laughs> I actually didn't want to get this computer originally. Uh, I mean, my computer right now is pretty fine. As you can see, my monitor in the back is running it pretty well. And it started up pretty quick. Wait. And, <laughs> and I was taught and I thought it was, it was okay for me. However, my dad saw it, he, he was using the laptop, and he, and he said to me, this laptop is slow. And, you know, I really don't know what slow means to him, or actually, I don't really know what fast means to him, because already, that seems pretty fast to me. But he said that he wanted to get me a computer. And I say, uh, get in quotes, because I'm paying for it, actually. And actually, first... Oh, well, my mom was actually hesitant to the idea because she didn't want me to play games and get addicted to the computer. Which, you know, is a pretty reasonable worry because you don't want your kids to get addicted to games. You want, you want them to get their work done and then do games. But hopefully that shouldn't be a worry um, with this computer now. I mean, we already have it now, so there's no really turning back. And as you can see, this is what we have when we first open it. First we have, I'm assuming, let's see. Let's just open this. It looks like a keyboard. Okay. That's weird. I I thought we didn't ask this to come with a keyboard. I could be wrong. I don't know why I closed this. Let's see. Oh, wait. And then... There we go. Hey, Bella. So in this package, a keyboard's included, as well as other accessories like a mouse, and this seems to be the charging cable. So that's pretty cool. If you buy a desktop, of course you need a keyboard and a mouse. I forgot to mention, if you didn't already see, this is a Dell desktop. You'll see the actual desktop when we finally reveal it, uh, but I'm not going to say its name just yet. Okay, I'm going to take these out. It looks like uh, Bella is already scouting out the box, as you can tell. Cats love boxes. And getting to the actual reason why we bought the desktop, because you don't just buy a desktop because the laptop is slow. It needs to be slow in comparison to what you're doing. So the reason that my dad wanted to get me a desktop is because of the pandemic. Uh, because of the pandemic, pretty much everyone is staying home, which means it's a good time to do videos. So getting a desktop would allow me to edit videos at a much Faster, uh, faster pace than using the laptop, which is why we got this Dell. I don't know if this is a good shot of it, but this is Dell XPS 8930 desktop. Okay, Bell is under the box. I can't actually put it down now. <laughs> why don't you take a look? All right, so the reason that we got Dell was because in all of our years of using computers, of getting different brands like um, uh, Sony, uh, Toshiba, uh, Compaq, even Vio at one point, we found that Dell was the best one. It survived the longest and was the most sturdy. And also, this is the computer that my dad has. So, I mean, from his experience, it should be pretty okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be very careful with taking it out because I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. Which way is down? Okay. So it looks like this is the desktop. By the way, I should mention that originally when we ordered this uh, desktop, uh, it said it was going to come in late July. However, it's late June right now. So it seems like Originally, we thought that the pandemic was going to cause a shortage of computers because everyone's staying home, so they need computers. 
but it looks like the delivery time got cut way shorter. All right, so with that out of the way, while you take a look at this computer, this is side of the let's talk about the specs. I wrote them down. So this is a Dell XPS 8930. It's a, it has a 9th gen Intel Core i7-9700, which is uh, pretty good, apparently. All right, so uh, let me just move this so the light hits it. So that's eight cores. So the processor is pretty good. It's pretty basic though, because this is a system that is meant to be expanded. It's meant for you to be able to add onto it, which you'll see in their marketing. They actually do advertise that it should be expandable. So in the future, we're probably gonna add some components onto it. For the operating system, it's, of course, it's Windows 10. It's not a Mac and it's not a Linux. Uh, the graphics, uh, I actually forgot this. It's just regular Intel UHD graphics as opposed to NVIDIA. Uh, and this is, I think this is good for my mom because NVIDIA, NVIDIA graphics cards are more meant for gaming, whereas Intel graphics are more multi-purpose. So uh, this is probably a win for my mom. But moving on to the memory, it's uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. And that's, that's pretty good. Uh, and I, I should mention, I think you can expand the RAM. So that's also pretty good. The hard drive is a uh, one terabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive. Um, maybe later we'll change it to a uh, SSD, but you know, one terabyte is pretty good for storage and 7200 RPM, you know, if you have higher RPM, it means faster data transfer. So that's pretty good. So overall, this desktop is pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the inside so you guys can see, get a look. Keep in mind, I'm not a very computer technical guy, but I, I think I can understand a bit of the basics, hopefully. So if we take a look at the back here, you can see this is the front. And at some point, we're going to take out this plastic, and it's going to be very satisfying. So if you take a look at the back, you can see we have quite a lot of ports. We have regular USB, uh, display port, HDMI. I think that's even a, is that a USB-C. But anyway, we're going to take a look at the inside. So in order to reveal the inside, what we're going to do is we're going to take... We already took a screw off of this uh, piece here, this lever. So we're just going to pull it, and this is the magic. I'm not sure what the best angle for this is, but there we go. And now, hold on. Now if we gently snaggle this out, the side panel comes out. Here, Bella. And now, let's see, we can get a good look of the inside of the computer. Here's another nifty thing about it. You can actually swing this entire thing out. In order to do that, we unlock it. Hmm, that's the best angle. I think I'm gonna do it like this. There we go. There we go. I'm very sore about it because I don't want to damage the computer. But as you can see, now we have a lot more space to add components. For example, we could put um, uh, hard drives here. We could put graphics card here. But as you can see, wow, amazing, right? All right, so like I said earlier, I actually don't really have any experiences with desktops. So my dad was telling me that the way that they designed this is actually pretty genius because with older com desktops, what they would have is they would just have it where in order, if you wanted to put a new desk, uh, a new memory card or a graphics card, what you have to do is you just have it like this, and you'd have to finagle around and move components in order to install it. But with this desktop, what you can do is you can just swing it out, and everything is out in the open, and it's easy for you to replace. So, as someone who is new to desktops, this isn't something I can really appreciate until I've had a lot of experience with it. So, it means that whoever engineered this desktop Whoever the Dell engineer who made this was very was a genius. They made they they made this knowing that people like to customize their PCs, and they made it easy for pe people to customize their PCs. Even the power supply. If you want to replace the power supply, you can just replace it like this. All right. So as you can see, that's a it's a pretty cool desktop, and I'm actually pretty glad to have it. That being said. 
that's pretty much all there is to this unboxing and initial review of this of this desktop keep in mind it's not a full technical review because i'm not really actually not actually looking at the running any tests on it i'm just really unboxing it and doing i guess it's pretty much just a vlog of updating you guys on what i'm doing and it's cool oh i have to push this in that's why I was having a hard time. I forgot to push this in and lock it. Okay, so now... All right, so like I was saying, this is more so of a vlog of me opening this desktop. And really, it's it's really to to answer the, the my viewers' questions about what I have been doing during the pandemic. Because, you know, I've been doing quite a lot of things. I've been, you know, helping my mom clean, helping my dad out in the backyard. Uh, talking to Bella a lot. And now I'm gonna be starting. I'm gonna be able to start working on videos. So with this desktop, I should be able to do a lot more. And I've actually already. Got a, a table for the desktop in mind. Now keep in mind, according to my dad, uh, we could do a lot better on the table. Uh, but I think in my opinion. It's perfect. So I was looking it up. Actually, I actually did look this up, and the best place to put your 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 desktop is not on the floor where it can get dusty, especially not on carpet where it can get a lot of dust, but on something that's at least ten centimeters high, which this is definitely above ten centimeters. So uh, in the future, we should hopefully be able to do some benchmarks and tests on this computer. But for now, it's basically just a vlog updating you on my whereabouts and Bella's whereabouts. But for now, I'm Aiman, and thanks for watching. Please like it, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I and Aiman. Be sure to check out my reviews on in the future on this desktop. And also be sure to check out my review on the monitor behind me, this Scepter gaming monitor. But for now, I'm Aiman, that's Bella, and signing out. Wait. Oh yeah, <laughs> signing out. Peace. Whew. After midnight videos.